You want to emerge from the ocean holding a trident like Neptune himself. Well, I'm afraid you've got to get through a crowd of these to be able to get yourself one of those puppies. Don't worry, I'm going to show you how you can do it without getting so much as a scratch. Don't you go anywhere. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Abamaz. Don't know what happened there, I had a little bit of water in my throat. Today, we are doing another one in the farm tutorial series, and you can see in the background, lolloping around, probably gargling, I imagine, is what we are trying to farm. It is drowned. We're after tridents, really, but we are going to do a drowned farm, and these drowned farms are actually not as simple as you first think. I tried to do one in my Avamancia series uh, about a week or so ago, and it turned out fairly tricky. I've got to be honest, it was a bit tricky, and I'm kind of doing it on the fly, and there was a few errors, and a lot of you came back and said, have you tried this, have you tried that, have you tried this? And actually, some of your ideas were awesome. So I'm going to try and implement them here on a bit of a tutorial on how to make a drowned farm in Minecraft Update Aquatic. Let's crack on with it. Right, first off, you need to decide whereabouts you are going to have this farm. Now, I recommend a nice wide open space with a sort of 10 plus blocks all the way around you. And get yourself a block and that's going to be your starting block. Doesn't matter what you put in there, as long as you just identify that as your starting block. Then get one, two, three, four blocks all the way around it like that. Come one block further out, there, there, there and there, too high, too high, too high, and too high. And then we're gonna start building up this way like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go all the way to the surface with this tower. And what that's gonna become is our villager chute because we're gonna to need to push a villager down this hole in order to kind of pull the drowns in towards us. So that's the idea. So I'm just gonna carry on creating this tube that goes all the way up to the surface and then we're going to have a little bit of a play with it so I'll be back in a minute. Quick update, make sure you shove a block on the lower level all the way around on each corner here otherwise this ain't going to work. Anyway let's get back up to the top. So you can see we've come right to the top and we've created a little square at the top literally one block above the water and what we're going to do is we are going to fill this whole thing up with sand and that is going to remove all the water from inside of this tube still chucking it down and depending on how deep you are the deeper the ocean the more sand you are going to need but get this whole tube filled up get yourself down into the bottom of the tube and that is going to allow you to remove all of the water from this system carefully to the bottom there we go so we are surrounded by glass but we've got no water all the way up to the surface. Then we want to come up one, two, three blocks up and shove in a sign. That sign is going to block off any water that may come off, there's no may, it will definitely come off when we start cutting this tube off once we've got our villager in. So that is what we're trying to achieve. And here, we're gonna remove this block there like that. And we are gonna get rid of this block here shove in a trapdoor, this block here, shove in a trapdoor, this block here, shove in a trapdoor, this block here, shove in a trapdoor. Get yourself a bucket of water and shove that in there. Now what happens is when we drop the villager down here, that bucket of water is going to stop it from breaking its neck because that's not what you really want, is it? Breaking necks of villagers just doesn't seem very fair to me. Now what you can do very carefully is get rid of that one there, that one there, that one there, and that one there. Don't remove these ones at the side, because if you remove these ones at the side, you're going to have a world of hurt with the water flooding in, so that's not what you want. And then, just kind of get yourself out by digging yourself a hole across like that. Come up and replace the gravel in like that and you should have a nice tube still working perfectly right there. Get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that and get rid of that. And what you've got there is your bait. 
this is your bait area and it is exactly what you're looking for and then we're back up to the surface so this is where you've got a bit of a choice you can at this point get your villager inside your tube it is a lot easier to do it when it is on the ground because you can bring it over in a boat and just lob it in but if you wanted to you could wait until you've gone as high as it is you are going to go now i personally recommend that you lobby villager in now and because the drowned aren't going to be able to get in but what it will do is it will attract a load of drowned and they'll be kind of bobbling around next to your villager if you're doing this in survival you may find that you've got to fight your way for a few drowned to get the uh, last finishing touch into your farm but that's completely fine if that's what you want to do. What I'm going to do is lob my villager in down. And there he goes. One villager at the bottom. And then what we can do is we can come back down here with glass in hand and come all the way down. And above the level of that sign. So the sign is on that block. Above the level of the sign. Knock that block out shove that block in and you have got a functioning system so i'm going to pop that block back and then we can remove all of the glass blocks that are above the villager from this point you can see look that drowned is well into that villager it is properly looking for him this drowned is also doing the same they are loving him they're pathfinding him all the way from a quite a distance away so I'm going to get rid of this glass tower until we're back up to the surface and this is the point at which you have your next choice now if you are way out in the ocean chances are there aren't that many spawn blocks but there could be a few mob spawnable blocks underneath the layer of the sea but you can make a decision to how high do you want to go the higher you go the more um, effort and the more space and the more messing about you are going to have to have so i'm just going to demonstrate this for you we are going to need to build a tube that is this big so i'm just going to build it around so it's basically got an entire channel outside of this three by three square that we've got here so like that that is the size that you are going to have to build. So it's quite important that you make a, a, a good decision as to which height you want to go. So let's just get rid of those there. Now you could do it literally on the surface here. I don't necessarily recommend it. You might want to do it a few blocks up. That's entirely up to you. So I'm just going to go a little way up for this one. I'm not going to go miles up, but what I am going to do is have it high enough that we have got plenty of room to be able to do our drowned capture area so that is three i'm going to go up one more block so we are four high okay so we're four high there now what we want to do is you want to get yourself inside and you want to place a water bucket along one side of the layer it's right above the surface of the sea and then another one all the way along that surface there that will give you an entire layer of um, original water blocks four water blocks do exactly the same there and come along the side and again you'll get a complete source block layer do it once more okay and that is like that now currently in 113.1 you can achieve this by using kelp but there are rumors that the kelp um, turning water blocks into um, original blocks is basically being patched so the source blocks won't happen anymore that's the rumor so i don't want to have you reliant on that just do one row of uh, water along one side one row of water along the other side and you've got yourself quite a nice little area so what we're going to now do is we're going to build ourselves up one two along three sides like that and then this side is going to be our capture zone so what we're going to do is we're going to have a layer of floor blocks here at the moment now you don't have to do this in glass 
in fact I recommend that you don't you can do this in any block that doesn't fall so don't use gravel or sand but you could use dirt or something like that because you are going to remove these blocks again very very shortly now you will notice we are one two three four five six blocks in here and what we want is another gap like that that's perfect and then another one here like that and then along here get yourself a load of signs one two three four and five that's perfect then again here you're going to get another row like that so you've got kind of a, a bit of a chamber there with an end block and when we put water in here which we'll be doing shortly we are going to have um, the water coming along this far and then stopping and what we're going to build down here is the chamber into which the drowned are going to fall and we want this to be a a two block fall so this remember this row isn't going to be there that two so that is one block that is another block and that will be the floor that is one block that is another block that will be the floor so get a second row like that bring this along there and along this floor what we need here is a chest so make sure you do it so it's like that and pointing into this chest you want to get a hopper if I can get it out of the way there we go so that's what we're after there if I can get out I can't get out there we go that's better and then so what we're going to do is another layer underneath here just to cover that off so we've got one two three four five six so there we go that's a layer there and then we just stick another one here and this is the fun bit because we're also going to do another one here which means that when you stand on it it's a little bit like a glass bottom boat which is quite nice and then we got to build ourselves our chamber within which we are going to stand when we do our farming for our um, for our drowned and this chamber is going to be there and then we get that trap door there like that and that allows us to biff up those drowned very nicely thank you so the drowned come along we need to just build up this whoops I just placed that in the wrong place one two three four there you go like that so the drowned come along they fall in here they get washed down here and they land on top of this area like that so that's exactly what we're after now you have got a number of choices again it's all about the choices with this build isn't it now what I would do is I would build this wall up because there is a bit of a kind of mini glitch that means that the drowned when they come here even though they're being swept across they spin around in a circle or they try and swim away so what you want is you want the drowned to want to come and get you and uh, I know, scary, what can I tell you? But the drowned, do you want them to come and try and get you? So you need to build this up. So as you are kind of available to get on a viewing platform that is level with the level above these signs. So what we can do is we can get rid of that, 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 and that. So that's your, blue in plat your viewing platform. And you want to be able to stand on the level that is equivalent to that. So let's just put this wall out like that there. And we are going to create a viewing platform that is there, 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 and there. So that's where you're going to stand when the drowns are coming. And then once they've all filled up, you can go down what will become a set of steps, which we'll put in a minute in a minute and go down and do the biff banging of them and that way everybody gets dead and that's what we're after so just build up another wall around this side like that 
and what you might want to now start thinking about doing is either building another wall layer if you wish to but you definitely need to start putting some kind of opaque block across the top because that will avoid the drowns getting burning and too hot for their trotting and causing you to lose the kills because you have to kill these drowns in order for you to get the tridents which is really one of the things you are absolutely after so i'm going to get some half slabs i'm not going to use anything overly exciting i'm just going to use a little bit of wood and we're going to put some half slabs across here to create a roof so i'll be back when i've done that so the roof is over a big chunk of it. I've created a two by one hole here that is actually gonna act as the door for you to get into your farm, because obviously you've got to be able to get into it, right? And I've created a little spot there, and that's um, gonna be where we uh, come into it. Then off one spot there, we're gonna put one uh, block, a spot there, we're gonna put one block, a spot there, we're gonna put one block, and a spot there we're going to put one block and that allows us to get up and down our farm and yeah i've done it in glass simply because it's nice to be able to see it or you don't have to do it in glass of course you don't i just quite like the idea of doing it in glass now again you've got yet another choice some people like to remove this here and shove another trap door there and that's perfectly legitimate and fine if that's what you want to do quite happy for you to do that right so now we've got to start to finish off this top chamber so come into the top chamber here and what we're going to do is we're going to shove where's my water bucket we're going to shove a water bucket along the back row here so watch what it does one two three four and five there we go so you see it runs all the way down but doesn't run over now that's going to be strong enough to shove these drowns really really quite hard into this uh, bottom section which is what we're trying to achieve and now what we're going to do is we need to remove these um, kind of base glass blocks here so carefully get yourself one two three four five and one two three four five don't take out this wall you don't need to and you basically take out this five by five square underneath sometimes a little bit difficult to see if you've got a potion of night vision that really helps let me demonstrate that for you there you go so we have got a whole load of drowns going around the poor old villager down the bottom but still they can't get to him so it just shows that it does actually work now what we've now got here is the row underneath this kind of um, moving water system is no longer a source block row because we've taken out the glass block so again put a there 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 and there and same on the side as well and that will do exactly the same as it would if this wasn't underwater and fill this entire square up with source blocks and that's what we're trying to achieve now we're coming down here this is the point at which you may find that these drowns get a little bit jiggy so what you want to be doing is removing an entire ring five by five around this poor villager who's really not having a very good day two three whoops three and then you want to replace it with soul sand and if you replace it with soul sand what's going to happen is you're going to get this bubble and this bubble is going to sometimes difficult because the um the drowned are in the way and this soul sand is going to basically push these drowns right up into your farm which is obviously what we're trying to achieve right so up they go into the farm and as soon as we can get these fellas out we can get ourselves in here look this guy with the fishing rods really not happy he's not wanting any of it is he so come on out you get there you go so up goes those those um poor old drowns that's what we're looking for they come up here and you can see they are washing down into the system at the bottom now you can increase the efficiency of this system ever so slightly if you place um, soul sand blocks on here and here here and here and then similarly try and get through this idea which isn't so easy 
here, 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 here. Whoops. It really does shove you up really, really fast. And let's just finish off this roof. And that will stop any of these poor gargly drowns getting sunburned because the last thing you want when you're drowned is to get sunburned. It's just not good for you. And then come in here. So I'm really struggling to drive at the moment. Come in here and finish off this wall. that so there you go so you say we've got we've just kind of knocked out our viewing chamber which is fine so take out the top three little bits of wall when the drowns see you they'll get quite interested in you and they're more less likely to go round and round and round and round anyway then you can come down and these drowned can then get bashed as much as you want get the sword come in here give them a bit of a bash Give them a bit of a bash again. Oh, you know what I've not done? <laughs> I completely forgot. So get ready because you want to put a water source block in there because that will then, oh, for goodness sake, that will then sweep all the drowns. <laughs> I forgot the source block. That's only a very important part of the build. Shove the drowns down towards the hopper where you can just keep bashing them Taking your XP. And you can see it actually brings quite a lot of drowns in. Baby drowns as well. And um, it's relatively efficient for something that is right on the surface. There you go. So we've managed to... Uh, managed to kill a number of drowns there, which is great. And in here, we've got some gold and a load of rotten flesh. So no tridents yet, but they do keep coming. It's relatively efficient. We're going to keep bashing them. Lots and lots of rotten flesh coming, but the drowns will keep on coming. And as a result of them coming, eventually you're going to start to get some nice loot, which is fantastic. So as you can see, we've got a load of drowns in there. One of them looks like they're holding a nautilus shell. One of them's holding a fishing rod, no tridents, but the tridents do come. I've just put a little set of glass stairs up to the entrance. Obviously that makes it a lot easier to be able to get in. You might want to think about whether or not a drowned is going to come up those stairs after you. That is entirely up to you. It's relatively simple. Okay, there's a lot of glass blocks. Definitely don't use glass blocks for anything you're going to destroy because that might be a bit of a waste, but it's a pretty good system. If you have enjoyed this video, please do make sure you slap that like button. It would be great to know you're enjoying them and I'll keep on trying to make them. Also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.